Today we're going to take a look at the Loki Omnibus Volume 1. It has a 1008 page count and the cover price of $125. Let's get into this Omnibus Overview. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Loki Omnibus. Before we get into that, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you aren't already, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for all notifications. We also have a giveaway going on currently. Stay tuned after the video to see how you can win a 110 scale Colossus statue from Iron Studios. Alrighty, so taking a look at this dust jacket, you get all the books collected on the back of this dust jacket here. You got the beautiful artwork on the front from Marie Severin, which is just fantastic looking. Sliding off the dust jacket, you get this great green comic print on the uh, inside wraparound cover, man. Love the way this looks. The green pops so nicely and those nice bold low-key lettering on the front. Just a classic looking uh, omnibus cover here. I, I absolutely love the way that this looks. And then taking a look at the inside of the dust jacket. On the left hand side you get kind of like the history of Loki and whatnot. And then on the right hand side you get the creators involved in this book. Which is big old Stan Lee and Jack Kirby for the most part. Opening up the omnibus, you get these green pages on the inside cover, and then you get your boy Loki here. I like this uh, kind of mystical green force that's flowing throughout the pages. Then you get the uh, contents of the book that are kind of on these scroll looking things, and there is a ton of content in this book. You get the first appearance in Journey into Mystery 85 of Loki, and you get so many more. You get Avengers 1. So like I said, there is a ton of content in this book, 1,008 pages. This book collects Avengers number one, Journey into Mystery 111, 113, 115 through 123, Thor 153 through 157, 167, 173, 175 through 177, and 179 through 181. Thor Annual 2 and material from Journey into Mystery number 85, 88, 91 through 92, 94, 97, 100 through 104, 107 through 108, 110, 112, 114, and 124 through 125, Thor 126 through 129, 142 and 147 through 152, Strange Tales number 123, Tales to Astonish 101, and Silver Surfer number 4. First off, I'd like to start out by saying, if you are not into older comic books like this, then this book may not be for you. It is super dated and a little wordy. Um, I enjoy the hell out of it so far. Uh, it's got some real classic Loki storylines throughout it. You got the uh, Tales of Asgard, which go back in the past, and it kind of tells you like the history of Thor and Loki together. There's a ton of just classic characters, some first appearances. It's definitely dated and wordy, so if you don't like this style of uh, comics, then you might want to pass on this and maybe get the uh, more current Loki omnibus. But um, it's a great read. The artwork is fantastic, of course, because Jack Kirby is, you know, the best at what he did back then. Great Thor storylines. You get a bunch of Odin. You get the Absorbing Man. You get some uh, the Executioner, Enchantress. All kinds of great story throughout this. Gotta love the way that um, Loki looks throughout the books as well. The, the different ways that he looks. There's some more of that green mystical pages you get in. But uh, here's some of the tales of Asgard right here. But, um, you know, it goes back to the old school Thor stuff where he is Dr. Don Blake. And, you know, Odin be taking away his powers a bunch of times. And Loki be scheming to try and kill Thor, which... You know, he always screws up with, and uh, that's basically the main storyline for Loki. But there's uh, some great stuff throughout this. More of the uh, tales of Asgard here. Great artwork throughout the book. It's going to be mainly based on Thor stories. There you got the Destroyer there. Uh, Thor and his uh, relationship with Jane Foster and him trying to admit that he's Thor to her. So a lot of this is really just... I mean, this could be considered a Thor omnibus with Loki. But, uh, you know, there's some great stuff in here. The Wrecker here, which is uh, one of the few people that actually gives Thor a run for his money. This is a great storyline right here. But, uh, you know, the Dr. Don Blake character is kind of... It's just funny going back that he's just this terrible doctor that's crippled. And, you know, he turns into Thor. Uh, all that storyline is pretty funny and... Uh, it's just real comical going back and reading all these older stories. These are some classic things, and the artwork throughout it is just incredible. 
Gotta love the way Loki is drawn in the past, that old school Loki there. The artwork and colors are so vibrant, they just pop off the pages so greatly. Definitely a great omnibus to uh, pick yourself up if you are a fan of Loki or mainly Thor. Uh, you do get a bunch of the cool first appearances like the Avengers, which is a great little story there. Surtur, all kinds of uh, great villains throughout the book and uh, definitely recommend picking it up if you're into this older school of uh, comics. Like I said, if you're more into more modern stuff, this may not be the book for you. It's probably going to be a tough read and take forever to get through. Mephisto there. But, uh, you know, with the uh, Disney Plus show coming out, I had to get this book. I had to go back into the history of Loki and read some of uh, his older stories and first appearance. So, you know, of course, I had to grab this book, and I'm really glad that I did because it's, it's a great read. You get all these great covers on the back here and artwork. The Avengers, like a modernized version of the cover. Great artwork throughout it. Definitely recommend. Uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned to see how you can be entered in the giveaway. Once we hit 500 subscribers, we're going to be giving away this 1 10th scale Colossus statue from Iron Studios. I'll use a random comment generator and pick the winner. All you got to do to win is be subscribed to the channel, like and comment on a video where I mention this giveaway, and you must be located in the United States. Good luck, and thanks for watching.